This is Choppy. She lives on the floor mostly. She's sad. But she's about to meet the love of her life, who is currently perpetually bench pressing a stick welder. So this is the story of how Choppy finds her partner and their relationship can take wing. First, let's get rid of all this junk. I used some measurements of the top of the red box to cut out a place in which Choppy can live. Here I'm using pencils to offset the boards that are going to come on top of this so that I can add glue, put the boards on top of it and add pressure without the top board uh, hitting the side of the red box. The super glue in this case is just used to hold the pieces in place to transfer to my workbench and then attaching them with screws permanently. I started the process by cutting some pieces for the two wings and here you see me gluing them together. It's a thin sheet of plywood and the rigidity comes from the added pine. When the first folded wing was installed, I used the spirit level to check that it was on the same height as Choppy's cutting surface.
so I've cleaned off this part of my workshop and this is where my miter stand is going to live. It might live here permanently, it might not. Cool thing is I can fold them down and move it away. So now the next step is to start making the wings. So I think I found a way to make my wings. I cut out a piece of thin plywood and added a strip of wood on the back, which will live here on the side of my little cabinet. The cool thing is it has all these notches in them that go from big down to small. So I want to put two screws in the back at the right distance so that it slots in and falls down into it. This way I don't have to work with any more hinges and if I ever need to fold this down, I simply hinge these up, lift the wings out and fold it down. And at some point I will find a way to store my wings somewhere if they need to hang some. And then I'll probably store my wings on the wall somewhere if I need them. Voila, that is the support structure done. Two wings that can click off and these top parts can fold down. The next step is uh, cladding these to look like actual bird's wings. Um, and so here is the rough design for the wings. There's a triangle shape you just saw and I'm going to cover it with some leftover wood that I have from an old garden fence that was destroyed. Um, yeah, there we go. And so, as you can kind of see here, I already did some work off camera. I um, cut a few pieces of wood out, both from a light color wood and a darker color. This is my old garden fence, and this is the old flooring of my garden house. So I cut these pieces out to something organically wing-like. And now uh, I'm gonna use these as a template to cut out the next ones so that they are symmetrical and then glue everything up. To cut these thicker pieces, I'm using a jigsaw because it goes a lot faster. And to cut the thinner pieces and especially where it gets a little bit intricate, I am using my bandsaw to do that. If you're gonna do this, you can do this any way you want. I just laid out some pieces of wood and drew some organic shapes on it that were like roughly wing-like and I started cutting. Then when it didn't look good enough, I cut some more off and then I placed them down again. Still didn't look right, cut some more things off. And then I came up with the idea of contrasting woods, light versus dark. And I'm hoping this will give it a bit more of a look. And voila, at this point, two sets of wing parts are cut out and I'm going to glue them together and then from the backside fasten it with screws. And then take the whole thing inside my house because right now it is zero degrees Celsius in this place I am standing and my wood glue won't dry.
and voila, it's finished. Um, Choppy is now very happy. She found the love of her life and their relationship can spread its wings and help me cut a ton of long lumber. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing. There should be a button to do so below. And also off to the side here will be videos all about making stuff. So thank you for watching till next time.